Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a handbag reveal video and these are obviously my favourite types of videos to do. I love buying handbags, so you can probably tell by now. And this time I actually have two to show you and I don't generally buy more than one handbag at once because I think that in order to give a handbag enough love and attention you should really only buy one at a time because then that can still be special and like a whole moment and I just think that for me personally if I bought more than one I wouldn't necessarily be able to give each bag the attention it needs which sounds ridiculous but I like handbag buying to still be like a special thing because they are really really big purchases. So I don't generally tend to do it but this time I did because I did get both bags on sale and I didn't buy them both at the same time, I bought them a couple of weeks apart uh, but I kind of had to buy one because the sale is ending very soon. So they're both from Mulberry which is a brand which I haven't visited in like I want to say eight, nine, ten years, something like that, like a really long time. Mulberry was one of the first designer bags um, I ever bought, so I got a Roxanne, and then I think a year later I got the Kira. I loved both bags a lot, I got a lot of pleasure and enjoyment from them, and I think I did end up selling them, but I just only have good memories of the brand, and then for whatever reason I kind of stepped away from Mulberry, I got onto Chanel, and that kind of took all my time, attention, and money, and so since then I haven't really gone back to the brand. I know they were really popular at one point and then less popular and have had lots of ups and downs but I was really surprised when I revisited them how beautiful their bags were and I looked at their sale before Christmas and a bag caught my eye which I had seen before but which I'd hated originally and then I clicked on the link because the combination was quite striking to me and then I saw you could wear it a few different ways which completely changed my opinion of the bag and I completely fell in love with it and I kind of dismissed it because I was like no I don't buy mulberry bags that's not what I do and so I left it alone and then for Christmas my brother and his fiance very kindly gifted me a little mulberry pouch in this beautiful fiery red and I loved it and I was reminded of how amazing the quality of the craftsmanship was and the leather and so that kind of reignited my love of mulberry so I went back to look at the sale and I just love this bag so I went into the House of Fraser store near me because they have a mulberry concession there and unfortunately they didn't have it but they did have another bag which caught my eye which is how I ended up with two so I had every intention of returning one but I love both so much that I'm not sure I will. I haven't completely made up my mind but yeah I really do like them both a lot and I did actually end up returning my Gucci tote that I bought in the sale. Uh, I revealed that I think in my January sale haul and unfortunately I mentioned in that video there were some creases and crinkles in the leather which I thought would just fall out like they did with my Tory Burch tote and they just didn't and I couldn't justify keeping a bag. Even though I got it for a really good price I didn't want what I saw was a damaged bag so unfortunately I had to send that one back but because of that I thought it might be okay to maybe keep these two but as I said I haven't decided yet but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got. One of them is a classic and the other one is not everyone's cup of tea but I've kind of fallen hard for it so uh, yeah I'm gonna get stuck right in. So I have the two bags here so the first one is like so and this one I got from mulberry.com. I have already unwrapped it as you can see by the ribbon and I didn't want to rewrap it because there's a lot of bells and whistles with the bag so that's just left out in the open but this one right here is still fully wrapped and I got this one from House of Fraser so this one I did buy in store. They don't come with boxes as standard which I thought was kind of weird but they are still beautifully wrapped anyway. I did ask for a box with the one I got online and they weren't able to ship it with a bag because they ship out really really quickly. I only just ordered the one online and it came today. It was amazing. Um, but they are shipping me uh, one separately which is really nice of them. Amazing customer service. I've emailed Mulberry a few times. They've gone back to me really quickly and I've just been really impressed. So I'm gonna go ahead and open. It has the little mulberry right there and this beautiful big ribbon. I thought that was so gorgeous. Untie it. Ooh, a lot of tissue paper with the little mulberry trees on it. Very, very cute. And then inside is the dust bag which says mulberry on it it's a lovely kind of gray felt one and this i love i think it's such a cute touch on the bottom of the bag it just says thank you and that was such a surprise when i kind of picked the bag up i thought it was so so cute with this little scallop detailing i thought that was adorable just a really really sweet touch so here is the bag i'm just going to undo the dust bag and it is 
a base water, which is the first base water I have ever owned. I'm obviously familiar with this bag, it's been around for a long time, and I never really considered it because even though I like the style, I kind of got used to seeing those really um, kind of old, battered, oak-coloured ones around, and they're really common in London, and a lot of them have clearly been very well loved, which is great, because I do think you should get your money's worth out of bags, but for me, they just became really common, and so I didn't really ever consider it, but when I saw it in this colour, you guys know I love pink, and it was just such a fresh colour, it completely changed the look of the bag for me, and I thought this was just the prettiest thing, really, really nice. I have actually stuffed it. So it just kind of opens like so. And I have put a jumper in it because it was a bit flat when I bought it. And the sale assistant said to kind of stuff it as soon as you get it, just to make sure it pads out and gets out any little creases. And there is a lot of tissue paper in there. Gosh, it's a lot of tissue paper. <sighs> okay. <laughs> It's like all over my floor now, but it's, ooh, that was a fail. Okay, let me try and sort this out. Okay, so this is the inside. It's very roomy, you know, it's a big bag and you have little buckles there, if you can see that. So you can adjust it a little bit if you want. And so this kind of, you can expand it if you want right here or you can keep it closed in for a slightly neat look, a bit like the Neverfull, I suppose. And then, Right here you have the pockets, you have that little, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, that beautiful little mulberry tree sign there, it's kind of like a metal plate, really, really pretty. And then you have the zip pocket right there with a care guide, I think, yes, a care guide. And then you have just the pockets right there. And I thought this was just so lovely. It's made in England and the quality is just amazing. I love the leather, it's this beautiful grain leather, you have the little, keys right there and the thing that I loved most about this bag was the fact that yes it's primarily a handheld bag but you can also fit it very very neatly over your shoulder and I kind of mentioned that that was a reason why I didn't like my soft locket and I was a bit worried about you know trying to sell my soft locket whilst buying something which isn't that dissimilar I don't think but the big thing for me is putting it over your shoulder you know being able to wear it very easily as a shoulder bag is a big deal because I do overload my work bags and so just having it as a handheld option isn't really practical for me so I love the fact that I can wear this both on the shoulder and you know by hand and in the crook of my arm I think that this is just so so gorgeous and I love the colour so I'm so pleased with this I got it for a pretty good price so I think that original retail was 900 or a thousand I think it was 900 and then I got it for just under 700 so not huge amounts off but still a pretty good deal so I was really pleased with it and I think it's just gorgeous and then the second bag which I'm going to show you which is just here it's not on any packaging or anything like that is the Cara bag which you know, it's definitely a different one. It is a backpack style, and when I, this first came out, I really, really didn't like it. I don't really like Cara Delevingne. I don't know why, she's just not a personality that I'm particularly drawn to, and I really dismissed this bag as faddish, and I just didn't like it. But then I saw it in this combination, which I adored. So this is the Oxblood, and this has the rivets, so they have little heart studs and line studs, which I just think are amazing. Like, they're so cute. I love them and what I loved most was that this was basically just a mini Bayswater so in comparison you know the Bayswater is a pretty big bag and this is just a slightly smaller more compact version and what really changed my mind about it was that I didn't realize you could hold it by the hand and then also carry it by the shoulder so you can take these off and these are adjustable and you can just attach it to little d-rings right here and then just wear it as a shoulder bag. And it fits really comfortably, I have tried it, and it's a very comfortable bag to wear all three ways. Because a lot of bags I feel they're only really suited to be worn one way, whereas this works three ways just equally as well. So I love it as a shoulder bag, I really like it as a handheld bag, and I kind of like it as a backpack. Even though I'm not really much of a backpack girl, I think this just kind of works, and I really, really like it. So you can see it has little studs, and then it does have little feet, and then this Made in England stamp right there. And then you just kind of lift it up. Oh, and one other feature, so you do have these little straps right here, and the, this keeps 
the little handles together. If you undo that, then they do just flop down. So if you want to use it as a handheld and you want it to be more floppy, then you can take this off, which I think is a really great feature. And I'm just gonna actually do that now. So they do just kind of flop down like so. And then on the inside, you have this suede-like microfiber lining, which I know lots of people don't like, but I personally love microfiber lining because it makes the bag lighter and that's a big deal to me. So it's a very similar construction to the base water. So you just have a zip pocket right there and then you have two little pockets on either side and then you have a little heart-shaped, oh, I don't know whether you'll be able to see that mulberry sign right there so I love it I haven't tested how much could fit in it yet but from what I can see because I have researched this bag quite a bit you can fit a surprising amount in there so yeah I absolutely love this I'm just gonna kind of stand up so you guys can see like I just think it's so so cute I love the combination just the beautiful oxblood color with these gold rivets I just think it's so so nice and you can just wear it as a backpack if you want to. And then picking up the base water. Ooh, just like so. So that's it for my double handbag reveal. Here are my two new beautiful handbags. I am totally totally in love with them I'm not completely sure if I'm gonna keep them both yet as I said but my current thinking is yes because I honestly don't know how I would pick between them I absolutely adore them I realized that I didn't mention the price for this one so the Cara I think this one was originally 1800 the ones with the rivets are quite a bit more expensive than the normal quilted ones uh, or I think they do have like plain leather ones as well but this is the most expensive version of the Cara but this was reduced down to 1260 so you know still a very expensive bag but I feel like I got a kind of good price for it I'm not really sure but I absolutely love it I've totally fallen in love with the style and this combination of you know the, the rivets with just the the oxblood color I just think it's so so gorgeous so I cannot wait to start using these both um, I do have another handbag reveal coming up very soon I'm gonna try and film that tomorrow I'm not sure when it's gonna go up because I don't really think I want two handbag reveals in a row and um, I wasn't intending on getting another handbag after buying two at once but I saw this on sale and it is something from my wish list so I decided to just grab it and it came today and I'm so so in love with it so if you like handbag reveals then look out for that and yeah thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys